John Zena is known for this catchphrase, you can't see me. What he's saying is, I'm too fast, I'm too quick, I'm too agile, you can't see me. And listen, friend, sometimes we think, you can't see me, you can't see me, you don't know what I'm doing, you don't know where I've been, you don't know the battles that I'm facing, you can't see me. Oh, I may not be able to see you, you may not be able to see me, but I promise, watch this, you can see you. God saved you with big plans in mind. God has, don't let anybody, don't let anybody tell you any different. You ever seen, you ever heard that, man, or that, man, that, that person's got one foot in the, in the world and one foot in the church. I mean, they're trying to live one way on Sunday, but Monday through Saturday, man, they're just kind of playing the field and they're, they let the flesh dictate their life. I mean, this is exactly what's happening in Samson's life. As a matter of fact, most of the time, Samson had both feet in the world. This man was dominated by his flesh. There's going to be a lot of people that end up at the end of their life, and they're going to have regrets, just like Samson is. We're going to get there in a moment. Because you know what they're going to do? They're going to look at themselves, and they're going to say, you know what? God had, God had big plans for my life. God wanted me to do some things. God wanted me, me to be that godly husband and that godly father. And God wanted me to be that, that godly mother and that godly wife. And God wanted me to be that Christian business person. And God wanted me to win my family. And God wanted me to be that parent that raised my kids up in the things of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we see it every single day in America today where I see and people call me and they contact me and they say, oh, would you please pray for my kids because they're wayward and they're lost. And they said, oh, but I didn't raise them in church. And they have this, this, this regret in their, in their spirit, man, because they did not do it. And listen, friend, we only live this life one time. We do not need to give in to the flesh, but we need to say the spirit, man, make the decisions in my life, and let's move on for the glory of God. Watch this. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in that day today. People don't care what the Word of God says. They don't care what the Spirit of God says. They only care what they want. What really matters is what I want in my own life. And so, so many people, even Christians in America today, in our churches, we are dominated by our flesh. And as long, watch this, and as long as we are dominated by our flesh and we give in to the flesh, we are going to lose every single battle that we face and God doesn't want you to lose battles he wants you to win battles there's going to be a day it's going to come in your life and my life tragedy's going to strike oh but don't be so positive preacher I'm just telling you the truth it happens to every one of us doesn't it there's going to come a day in our, in our lives tragedy's going to hit disappointment's going to hurt pain's going to come and you're going to rely upon God and you're going to say, God, I need your power. And here's the problem with that. For most people and many, many people in our churches today and in Christianity today, they've been so dominated by the flesh that the spirit man is so weak, they have no strength, they have no power. You see, here's what we do. Well, you know, at that time, when that time comes and I need God, I'll, I'll, I'll spend a few minutes asking God to forgive me and cleanse me. And God, fill me afresh and new with your power. Oh, God, I need you. I need you. Listen, that's all fine and good, but I'm telling you, it's a whole lot better when you're walking in the Spirit daily. So when these things happen in your life, watch, so that when these things hit you, Slap dab in the face, man. Whatever it is, divorce, financial failure, disappointment, hurt, death, cancer, heart disease, whatever it is, when something hits you, oh, my friend, the spirit man is so strong. Why? Because you have been feeding him. The conversation needs to be, hey, flesh, you're weak. You're, you stink. 
You bother me. You hold me back. Hey, flesh, get behind me. I've made a decision. No longer am I going to straddle the fence. No longer I'm going to let the flesh win over. No longer I'm going to keep one foot in the world and one foot in the church, one foot in the world and one foot in Christ. No, no longer today I make a decision. I'm going to win these battles. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of giving in to you, flesh. It's time for me to feed the spiritual man. It's time for me to win these battles. And the only way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to operate. In the spirit, not in the flesh. I mean, we, we were so big on devotions that maybe we even lost some devotion in our devotion because it came so habitual. But I'm telling you now, we don't, oh, we just rely on Sunday morning only. If you're relying on Sunday morning to build your spirit, man, you're gonna you're gonna lose all during the week. Don't rely just on what you get on Sunday, friend. You gotta get up in the morning, oh, but I got four kids, then get up before they do. Find time somewhere in your schedule. Spend time with God in His Word and in prayer. Study the Word of God. Feed your spirit, man. Why? Because once you do, you will begin to win these battles left and right. Not because of you, but because of the Spirit of God living inside of you.